James, uh, new to Cedar Hall Clinics, yes. um, what's going to be your role, what is your occupation here? I'm one of the osteopaths working at the clinic, working from the Thurrock and the Benfleet sites uh, a couple of days a week. So. How long have you been an osteopath? Um, I graduated this year in July from BCom um, and so I've been working alongside with a couple of other teams since, uh, we're Chumps Rugby team since I graduated and then I've just started here at the clinic. So what you mentioned rugby, rugby uh, is, is sports injuries a speciality? It's one of the areas that I, I have a keen interest in. I'm quite um, sort of sporting myself. I keep quite an active lifestyle. So I'm keen to sort of bring my knowledge of, of being active into my treatments and working with people that have a like-minded sort of um, appro like approach to their life, really. So. so if there's a rugby player that comes in here on, on when, when you're here, what are the usual ailments uh, and what is the usual, what is the way of treating them? Um, so rugby guys tend to get a lot of, uh, you know, we're looking at hamstring, uh, well it depends on the position, but a lot of hamstring injuries from my experience so far, and sort of lower limb, but then if they're, if they're a prop and they're in the, involved in the scrum, you, you can get neck and shoulder problems are quite common as well, so it really depends on sort of what position they're playing, I'll want to look at um, what effects and forces are going to be working on their body during that time, and how they're moving through those motions to see if I can improve it, and then get and get them back to sort of a healthy way of, of dealing with it, with the impact. So when the rugby player comes in, he's had a hamstring injury. You've mm -hmm. treated treated it, but are you also able to say to him, "Listen, next time you're playing, maybe you do A, B, and C." Yeah, I'll, I'll always give sort of home advice and take home advice. I think it's quite an important part of my treatment and my role as a as an osteopath because. Um, I'd say you know we, a person can get a lot out from the hands-on but at the same time they need to be understanding what they're doing and what precautionary measures they can do so if they do get a strain next time you know I'll advise them on how to deal with it straight away using like ice and uh, stretching after um, their train and things like that so I'm very much I, will, I look at the whole picture and try and give them something to take home from as well so we can avoid this happening again Cedar Hall are very proud of their sponsorship scheme with, with primarily track and field athletes. So yeah. Are they a, a particular breed as well, track and field? Well, you know, everything's different, so you need to really look at the individual and the sport that they're doing and the, and the athletics that they're doing. So um, someone who's doing the high jump will have different requirements for someone who's doing like a 100 metre sprint. So we need to look at how they're putting their power down, whether they're explosive um, or not and really sort of focus it from there and what and the, the body will have different um, pulls in different areas so there'll be different strains depending on the uh, um, on the sport involved. We focus a lot on sport yeah. but um, the world of work you know if a 51 year old journalist just spends 12 hours a day behind a desk looking at a screen he, mm -hmm. they, they may have certain challenges and problems. Oh yeah of course and I, I don't ever shy away from dealing with someone in the work in the world of work. I like to think of myself as someone who deals with who will take on any patient. Um, one of the so in that respect, as we said about someone who spends a lot of time in front of a computer, I'm, I'm gonna start looking at their posture. How long are they spending sat in that position? What position are they sitting in? Are they very flexed, are they very laying back and things like this. This is again other things to take into account. Then I give them as well as working on the areas that are sort of tight or restricted I'll probably look at, I'll give them some take home posture advices, some stretches to do while they're working and while they're at the computer. I tend to advise people that you should get up sort of every sort of 20 minutes or so, half an hour, just to have a walk around the office, stretch off, get your body moving. We're not designed to be sedentary animals, we're not designed to stay in one position for long periods of time. Um, also you need to look at how your desk is arranged, is the screen in the right position, is your keyboard in the right position, is your chair at the right height for the screen. All these things have to be taken into account, so I, I advise all my patients on this sort of stuff when they come and see me as well. Do you think your, your industry it has become more and more popular, do you think people are more concerned about taking care of the body because they're going to be at work or maybe at play um, for longer and longer? Yeah, I think health has become a bigger thing. What with the retirement age keeps sort of creeping on and on and people want and people have a more active lifestyle now I think media is pushing sort of health and fitness especially for men a lot more nowadays um, um, I think men are a lot more conscious about staying in shape than they were so I think there's been a big um, increase in that side of things and also people don't want to wait for the NHS as much anymore I kind of get the feeling so they're more they're, there's, they're happier to invest their money in their health because I think what was happening before people were quite happy to go and spend money on getting their car MOT'd and repaired but they were reluctant to come and spend money on their on their body and at the end of the day that's the thing that carries you through to old age and we're living longer and longer nowadays so we've got to maintain the body in the best way we can. James, thank you very much.